Well, good morning, boys and girls. I'm Teacher Terry, and I'm here to read you the story, The Magical Toy Box. Written by Marjorie Joyce, illustrated by James Newman Gray. The clock struck 12 at Lucy's house, and she was fast asleep. Across the moonlit bedroom floor, shadows began to creep. A sound came from the toy box. The lid creaked and opened wide. It's time to play, whispered Teddy to all the toys inside. Lucy was snuggled up in bed, as comfy as could be. So the cl toys climbed from the toy box and shouted, Yippee! Shh, now don't wake Lucy. Be quiet, you naughty toys. Bring the disco ball, said Teddy. Don't make too much noise. Woof, woof, said Puppy, wagging his tail. Sniffing under the bed, he pulled out the lid of an old board game. I've got an idea, he said. The toys crept into the hall, so quietly on tiptoe, they climbed on board and Puppy said, Hold on tight, let's go. Whoosh! They slid down the stairs with a bumpity bump. Everyone landed thumpity thump. Teddy opened the living room door. Come on, he said, let's go. I found the perfect place for a brilliant toy disco. Soon the disco ball was glittering. It swirled and whirled around. Everybody dance, cried Teddy. Dig that disco sound. Hippo wiggled and monkey giggled as all the toys began to bop. Singing along as he danced to the song, Bunny went hippity hop. Time for breakfast, cried Teddy as his hungry tummy tumbled. Into the kitchen to find some food, the happy toys all tumbled. They piled their plates with cookies and cake and tasty things too. Monkey munched, crock went crunch, and they gobbled up every treat. At last the toys were really full and couldn't eat one more bite. It was time to tidy up, so Bunny swept the floor. Teddy washed the dishes with a scrub, 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 and Puppy dried them off with the rub, rub, rub. I like the way they cleaned up after themselves. Outside, the stars were fading fast, and it was nearly dawn. Back to the toy box, everyone, with Teddy, said with a yawn. Up the stairs, the toys all climbed as quickly as they could go. Teddy felt very sleepy, his little legs started to slow. Hurry, whispered Bunny as he hopped up into the chest. Hey, wait for me, cried Teddy, who had stopped to take a rest. The toy box lid was closing, so Teddy lay on the floor. Soon he was in a deep sleep and softly began to snore. When she woke up in the morning, Lucy stretched and rubbed her eyes. How did my bear get over there? She thought to her surprise. Lovely bear, said Lucy, as she blinked in the morning light. I wonder what you were doing while I was asleep last night. And they're all tucked away. The end. Thank you for coming. Coming. See you next time. Bye.